so while this very lengthy and rambling thing on, on conceptual space and conceptual ideas and completely con conceptually, I'm going to show you a, a quick uh, way to sort of do some very quick, uh, very odd kind of, um, 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 uh, shall we say, uh, makeup. Okay, so what, what it is, it's very simple. You you have here, in this case, I have some uh, some, some, some cheese. This is uh, some, some you know, nice warm. This is mozzarella. You could use a reclay and probably uh, um, orange cheese, you know. And um, what, it, what it is, if you get a, a piece of paper, and then usually it's nice if you have sort of a cheap piece of paper, because it's all, the cheese when it's nice fresh, you take it out and it's warm, it's not real cold. And but you have a piece of paper. This is one I've used here because these are just perfect for the job. Uh, so if you can locate these, these are fantastic. Um, you may have a trouble locating it, but you can obviously contact your um, local, uh, in this case, the county department. Uh, so this is uh, to respond to a jury, jury, a jury summons. When you go to serve on the jury to give juror, uh, which I enjoy actually very much. When people try to avoid it, I really enjoy it. You know, I'm sort of a nerdish, geekish sort of person. I get to observe firsthand behavior of people. And so you're supposed to say, you know, where you are and what, what street you live on and have you committed any felonies and, you know, all kinds of things and whether you're married and all that kind of stuff. How many children do you have and other, other things. And uh, your education level, stuff like that. So what you can do is you can take this this kind of thing and you can lay it so that down here. And when, while you're making, the easiest way to make these uh, for use in, in theater and, 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 and acting and stuff is to just lay it down here. I'm going to lay it, I'm going to put it down here. I'm going to show, show you. And then to lay it like this, and it's up here. And um, you notice it has sort of discolored. And then take your cheese, and I'm going to show you. Here's the cheese that I have that I showed you earlier. And take the cheese like this, and just lay it on the, 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 the pink side. In this case, the pink side, which is colored. It's a very cheap suit of piece of paper. And then the oils and the milk and all this stuff here, even if it's a different kind of uh, thing, will almost certainly uh, dissolve and remove the... Uh, the, the, the covering, and you'll end up with a piece of cheese here, which I have actually sort of cut off here. I'm going to show you how it looks like here. And it's a small amount. I think you can just barely see it here, the light. There it is. You see there? And this is just a spot here, but there's this pink. You can see the pink there. And um, so after this, I cut it off with a knife very carefully, cutting it off, not being careful not to cut myself. And so I ended up with a little piece of like this, and it looks like a little mask, and it's nice. And you can use it for all kinds of... Um, um, uh, kinds of um, kinds of things for all kinds of you know kinds of you know kinds of things like this. And so yes, it's sort of sort of like uh, uh, if you remember Monty Python and there's a giant fromage which is giant uh, a cheese from Andromeda. Actually, it's from the planet Scalron in the galaxy of Andromeda, which as we all know is about 1.5 million light years away, or 750 thousand light years away, depending on I think on the season. And so then you would you disguise yourself as this fromage, and you'd go out, and it's very uh, you'd see it in Monty Python, and there it is. So you then take this, and you you could eat it, but it probably no telling what this kind of ink on here would be, if it's actually good or not. So you'd probably want to make sure you get a kind of piece of paper uh, and that, that you know you've eaten. So then you'll use the way to this to choose the statistic. It takes from your paper, and then you know, just lay about and sleep. Maybe just read some books or something, and then watch a little bit of te television, uh, listen to the uh, washing machine or the dryer spinning or something, or uh, just just think of you know random thoughts and poetry and stuff, or write journaling. It's a good idea, and then see if a day or two later, if you're really ill. And if you're not, then this is good, and you can use it, and then you can make the, the cheese stuff like this I've shown here, and then you can eat it, which I'm not going to do because I just don't have time. And I haven't actually been feeling too good, good lately because um, um, I think the, the cheese might have gone, gone. It, it is, you know, the giant fromage comes, you see, in the, in the python, it's gone from Andromeda to Earth, and I didn't... And I, I won't reveal the spoilers, no spoilers, uh, as to what it's doing. But I think this cheese has gone, in which case it has come here. And it's somehow, even with or without this, which could be quite toxic, it's pink. It's red dye number 41, I think. Red, red dye number 2. 41 was uh, considered uh, very toxic, and I removed it. Okay, there we go. I thought you might enjoy that while I was... Uh, to have something to read to watch while you're watch the other one is uploading, which has nothing to do because they're already going to be uploaded, and you're just be saying, "What is this? What is this? Where's 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 the latest um, the latest behind the scenes interviews for the cast of um, Misfits?"
Well, it's certainly not here. This is this thing and then the cheese. I'm going to have the cheese here. So and don't forget, there's, a, there's an episode of Columbo where the cheese is key. So just watch for that clue uh, with, uh, I think, Patrick McCoon, actually. Uh, the man who was the prisoner. Number six. Um, I am the new number two. You are number six. I am not a number. I'm a free man. And the number two goes, ah, ha, 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 ha. Yeah. What do you want? Information by hook or by crook. We will get it. And of course, all the time when my sister came back from a date, my mother would always say, well, "What was he like? Where'd you go? What are you doing? Went like this?" And so I'd say, "Information, information." And you know, that the sort of black, or, yeah, minimalist kind of uh, information. Later. Okay. There we go. And I'm just you know, peace. Go do do stuff. Do stuff. And you can see I have the plate back here of my, my salmon. So left over the cheese and the salmon and some butter and the bread I ate all the bread. The bread's gone. So I've loaded the cheese left, so there we go.